Hello everyone! The new Mercedes Maybach series has just received the first electric car. We're talking about an ultra-high-speed version of the top-end Mercedes EQS crossover. However, in addition to the facts that the new SUV model differs from the standard SUV aesthetically in terms of equipment and comfort, it also has improved drive characteristics, which can be seen in the model name. The model is called the EQS 680 SUV. Today, we will reveal all the features of this car and compare it with its main competitors. It will be interesting, so let's go! As Karl Maybach said, everything good must also be beautiful. This principle also applies to the first fully electric series of the Mercedes Maybach. What can we say? The appearance of this SUV is really impressive. By the way, it is quite predictable that the electric Mercedes-Benz EQS was used as the base for a luxury car. The belonging of the car to the Maybach brand can be seen not only in the nameplate on the body and the inscription on the false radiator grille of the unique design, but also in the logo on the footrests, as well as projection images illuminating the surface of the ground when opening the front and rear doors. As you can see, designers installed a lot of chrome panels throughout the body. By default, the crossover is offered in one of five two-tone design options, but at the request of the customer, the color can be the same for the upper and lower parts of the body. As expected, the interior is full of luxury. Exquisite materials with perfect finishes are everywhere, which should create a feeling of a real lounge. In the front, a huge hyperscreen is installed. Three screens are used to show special greetings when the driver starts the engine. Even these displays offer the truly unique Maybach style. For example, all edges of round devices are made of rose gold. For rear passengers, there are two 11.6-inch screens on the backs of the front seats. One can not only set up a multimedia program on them, but even select a navigation destination. In addition, all future owners of the Maybach EQS SUV will receive a tablet that can be used outside the car, as well as a gesture control system for the rear seats. As expected, the new Maybach has a lot of leather. As you can see, Nappa leather with natural vegetable tanning without chromium content was used all around the car. Inside this Maybach, one can even find some real wood, thus defying trends, because customers demanded it. And of course, the brand's logo can be found in all possible places inside the cabin. All seats, both front and rear, are heated and equipped with ventilation and massage features. Unlike a regular EQS SUV, the center console extends all the way to the rear. The new model also has a projector that creates a projection of the Maybach logo on the floor. Among the new options are two heated cup holders, a refrigerator, champagne glasses with silver coating, and two small tables that fold out from the center console. Of course, there is also an onboard speaker system with Dolby Atmos support, which offers 15 speakers and a presence effect when playing movies and music. To create the atmosphere of a real lounge, Maybach paid special attention to the issue of noise, vibration and harshness. In addition, the car is equipped with an air suspension with controlled shock absorbers as a standard feature. The new car is capable of traveling up to 400 miles on a single charge, but the charging power of up to 200 kilowatts means that it can be charged by 10 to 80 percent using a fast DC charger in just over 20 minutes. At least that's what Maybach claims. Interestingly, the wheels on the rear axle of the EQS SUV model are capable of turning by 10 degrees, which reduces the turning radius of the car. Talking about the technical characteristics, the new EQS SUV is often compared to the recently introduced Ferrari Pura Sank. In terms of size, these two models are approximately similar. The only thing is that the EQS SUV has slightly larger dimensions and its wheelbase is slightly longer. 
In terms of power, everything is also controversial, since Ferrari is capable of producing 725 horsepower and 716 newton meters of torque on its all-wheel drive. These indicators allow it to accelerate to 60 miles per hour in just 3.3 seconds. The Purosank uses a 6.5-liter naturally aspirated V12 engine as its power plant, which transmits thrust to all four wheels via an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. Talking about the technical characteristics of the Mercedes-Maybach EQS 680 SUV, it should also be mentioned that there is an all-wheel drive system with two electric motors with a total capacity of 649 horsepower and 915 newton meters of torque. Thanks to these indicators, the car can accelerate to 60 miles per hour in 4.1 seconds and reach a maximum speed of 130 miles per hour. At the same time, the Ferrari Purosang can reach a maximum speed of 192 miles per hour. Talking about other popular and modern cars, the EQS SUV model from Mercedes, thanks to its iconic characteristics, will compete for leadership with other high-end SUVs, including the Rolls-Royce Cullinan, which has a much higher price of about $335,000. At the same time, the new Maybach model with all additional options will probably cost about $200,000. In addition, all its competitors are currently limited to gas or hybrid models, including the Bentley Bentayga Hybrid, which will cost about $200,000. Let's also talk about the Bentley Bentayga. This car definitely loses to our new Maybach in engine power because the new model has 110 horses more and the maximum torque is significantly less. It offers only 770 newton meters compared to 950 newton meters. At the same time, each car has an automatic transmission and all-wheel drive. Bentayga takes 4.5 seconds to accelerate to 60 miles per hour while the competitor offers exactly the same indicators. However, both cars also have similarities. For example, they offer ventilated disc front and rear brakes as well as an independent suspension system. Talking about the characteristics of the Rolls-Royce Cullinan, we can surely say that the Mercedes-Maybach EQS SUV wins. Despite the same car class, the EQS SUV will still have more power and the torque is 50 newton meters higher. The Cullinan also loses in acceleration speed, since it needs 4.9 seconds to reach the speed of 60 miles an hour, while the EQS SUV copes with the task in 4.1 seconds. At the same time, the Rolls-Royce company claims that they do not consider the new model of Mercedes-Maybach to be a direct competitor to their line model. They say the following, now, there are people who will buy a Maybach because they want a Maybach, but our customers buy Rolls-Royce because they want exclusivity. Even if you can fill a Maybach or Bentley with custom-made options, Rolls-Royce offers truly unique solutions. In fact, it's just a different way of life. So, there are people who want to be in a Rolls-Royce. If you want, you can agree with this statement or you can have an opposite opinion. Everyone looks at the overall picture of the advantages and disadvantages of these cars from a different angle. However, here's what I think. Despite the high price, buying a Maybach is a relatively profitable deal compared to other high-end SUVs. The all-electric powertrain sets it apart from other luxury SUVs and its special characteristics and design make it a worthy competitor in the market.